Namalazi Dutha. Today we are going to talk about the international Buddhist flag, which I have behind me. And uh, before we get into the symbolism and meaning of the different bars of the flag, why it was chosen, I just wanted to talk about why I chose it. Um, aesthetically, I think it's maybe my favorite flag, just in the way it's set up and the use of color. Um, I'm a big fan of Mark Rothko, and it almost reminds me of some Mark Rothko, and uh, Mondrian and Jackson Pollock. It's sort of like a work of art to me, and that's just sort of a design thing. That's totally uh, de gustibus non disputanda mess. There's no arguing. Te there's no arguing for taste. But for me, it is just the right number of colors, the right amount, a good balance of five. So what does it mean? Well, let's go back to the history of Siddhartha Gautama, who became Shakyamuni Buddha, which means the Buddha come to the earth to uh, teach the Dharma to everyone. What happened was, uh, after his long journey, he, or on his long spiritual quest, you know, the culminating moment was when he sat under a uh, Bodhi tree and reached enlightenment. And it was between the hours of 3 and 4 a.m. Uh, he sat under a Bodhi tree in what is now Bodh Gaya, northern India, and uh, he reached Nirvana, he reached enlightenment. And when that happened, his aura emanated six colors. Okay, so that is the legend, and that is what um, Everyone who uh, has this flag, and you, you see it in temples all across the world, that's what it represents. It represents the five colors of the Buddha's aura. And I'll explain the five. Okay, so behind me here is blue. Blue represents compassion, and that is the first color. Uh, love. I guess love is the blue color <laughs> in, the, in the Buddhist uh, symbolism, right? The blue aura of compassion that is love for all living creatures, compassion for all things, no matter uh, who or what or what they had done. It is pure love, forgiveness, and uh, peace for everyone. Which brings us to yellow. And yellow is the color... <laughs> I should do it with the camera. Yellow is the uh, color of the Dharma itself, the uh, Eightfold Path. Okay? And so that is uh, right thinking, right doing, etc. <laughs> I, I don't have them all memorized. Like I've said before, Buddhism. Like I've said before, Buddhism is all about this. Red is the virtue. That is virtue that emanates from all people. Virtue that emanates from the Buddha as uh, expressed in loving kindness, good deeds, so on. That's the rewards of uh, liberation and uh, enlightenment. Uh, white is the purity of the, of the Dharma, meaning the Dharma is totally pure and you must submit to it and you must do so with all of uh, your willingness to, um, to accept that there is no unclean thought, no defilement at all within the Dharma. Orange is the wisdom of Shakyamuni Buddha. It's sort of his own wisdom. It's how it all came together. And that is the fifth color, which leads us to the sixth color, which is the combination of the first five. And so in, in six phases, he went through each color. And then in the last phase, five phases, and then the last phase, that is the color that is the five-fold color of his aura. That is the story of Buddha's aura, and that is the story of the international Buddhist flag. Thanks for watching. Over and out.